Hey, gentlemen, welcome. Hope you all. That's what we're here for. Is have a fun, good, clean game. One thing we got to remember: we want to have good sportsmanship on the field. Right? You guys are chosen as captains for a reason. So you guys are leaders on this field, and your coaches think you're leaders maybe somewhere else out in your community or wherever else. So it's a very important job that you guys hold tonight. Right? So y'all have some fun. Gold, you talk to gold tonight. Red, you talk to red. Okay. You guys are the visiting team. You will call the toss. I have a, a coin here with a head and a tail. All right, a head and a tail. You, you get on this side, young man. Get ready. Well, the man, I have a head and a tail. Tail and a head. Toss it in the air. I'll catch it. If I drop it, we'll do it again. But you call it in the air. All right. Tails. Tails is the call. Tails is the call. It's a head. Well, the matter. You want you wish it the fair? So Alright, there you have it. Golden Matter wins the toss. He likes to defer. It sounds like a winner. So Golden Matter will be kicking off. And that was number eight, number not number eight. Zero for activity. Oh, my apologies. Braden Purkle. Number eight. He had a big game against the Bulldogs a couple weeks ago. Well, everyone, please run. We're gonna go ahead and pause for the playing the of our national anthem all Last time they sung it, I believe. So we're going to go ahead and pause. Second game in a row, she nailed it. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to go ahead and go over the starting lineups. Go to the offensive starting lineups. Finally, four, quarterback. Gunnar Feller is 44. Fullback, Blaine Gode, 33. Running back. Justin Blaine, one wingback. Brian Bruce, 21, tight end. Jason Arman, 75, right tackle. Wally Gaspar, 54. Right guard. Jack Tarabone, 74, center. Scotty Burley, 72, left guard. Jason Baca, 40, 
Couple of changes, Byron Bruce will be replacing Blake Goldie at running back and Jaron Allen replacing Byron Bruce at tight end for the Lions tonight. Sounds like a winner. We're moments away from kickoff and Mark Taylor putting the ball in the team will be set playing in just a matter of seconds. Back deep for the Royals. ID his number. Yeah, he's to our side. We, looks like maybe number three. 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 Yeah. Robert Tolbert. Back deep for the Warriors. Taylor approaches the ball, and we are on the way. It's an onside kick of the middle. Warriors feel the ball, Warriors. After a couple of bounces, that's number 42. Morrell, Caden Morrell, recovering the onside kick for the Warriors, giving the Warriors great field position at the 40 yard line. Morrell, quarterbacking for the Warriors, Brendan Morrell. Tell you what, given the explosiveness of Thibodeau's return, man, not a terrible idea there to go ahead and try to steal a possession. Warriors have the ball, the 42-yard line. Malloy in the gun. Twins to both sides of the field, man in motion. That's Perkle. They will be given a Perkle, but we'll have a flag on the play. I'll start. Procedure and on the Warriors. We're pushing back five yards. That wide right receiver got a little head start. Can't do that. I'll push the Warriors back five. Pen of first and 15. From their own 37 yard line. Interesting, they didn't even come out in the shotgun against El the last time we saw them. They were more run heavy early, but going in the gun right away. Marauder back in the gun. Three receivers to the right side of the field. One back with Marauder in the gun. Gets a snap, he'll give it a perk on the inside handoff. Looking for running room. He's gonna be tackling Corrales for a short game by the Lions. Nice job by the Lions defense for a short game. Rose playing a second and 13. Good job by Jacques Bellard making the tackle in the open field. Like, there's no secret. Um, Tibble's gonna wanna get the ball to their playmakers in space. You're gonna have to make open field tackles. How often do we see this about El Sol when they play Tibble? El Sol is there, just wasn't making the tackles. If Golden Meadow can make those tackles today, can maybe limit this offense. Warriors play a second and 13. We're just on the way. We have their own 39 yard line. They got four of us. We see the set to the right side, which is the wide side of the field. And miss alignment, Coach Riley will call a timeout. They look kind of confused. They were telling me they were to me. They were a team that showed up at 545. They were still getting off the bus. They were late arriving. Last play, they were in the wrong formation with strong right, and the runner went to the left. So, no miscommunications. So, good job by Coach Riley getting the timeout so his team doesn't get penalized again. We're at 631 to go in the first period. Opening drive of the, of the game. Warriors have the ball down 39 yard line. They're not big for Golden Meadow here. They could potentially get an opening game stop. You know, build a little confidence, start to get some of those balls believing a little bit. Four receivers, again, to the wide side of the field. Empty backfield, Marai. Baker on the wing. Baker in motion, ball to give to Baker, he's at 35, he's at the 40, trying to get outside, he does, he's crossed midfield, tackle shot at midfield. Brings up a third down in about three for the Warriors. Now he's getting on second down for the Warriors. He was second at 34. Who's the back out of that time? Baker, number four. Baker, he did a really good job reading his blocks, man. He spent a lot of that room with his, with his hand on the back of his lineman, just riding the search. Warriors playing about a 34, right shy midfield. Rolling the gun, this time receivers three to the left side of the field, near side. 
Leroy calling for the snap. He gets it. Hand off to Perko on the inside. Perko fighting for yards. Breaks a tackle. He's at the 45. He tackled about the 42 yard line. Trying to get a running room. Looking for a block or two to spring it to the outside. Ryan's did a good job corralling him, but he picks up the first down for the Warriors across midfield in Ryan territory at the 42 yard line. At some point, out of this gun, they're going to play action and they're going to take a shot. And on first and 10 from the plus 42, might be the time to do it. Two receivers to the near side of the field. Baker's on the right side of the wing. Gets a snap, goes to Perk, who's on the inside. Look at the runner, and he does. Gets to the outside, crosses inside the 30. Tackling at about the 27-yard line. And now for a very first down, we'll spot him at the 28-yard line. So a nice game, a game for Perk. Well, he was just moving the football in the opening drive of this contest. For her receivers to the near side, which is the wide side of the field. Yeah, empty back set here. Moraw in the gun, empty backfield. Baker in motion, ball given to Baker. Inside, tries to get to the outside, he does. He's at the 20, fighting for yards. should be tackled at about the 17 yard line. Picks up a first down again for the Warriors. Yeah, Thibodeau just getting it too easy. I mean, they're getting 10, 12 yards of run right now. Got chunks. Yeah, they get inside handoffs, and they're just looking for that space, and if the outside's not there, they just turn it upfield for positive yards. So it's first and 10 for the Warriors at the Lions' 17 yard line. Single back with more on the gun. That's Procum. Three receivers to the wide side of the field. There's a snap just to perk on the inside. Big hole on the right side. He's at the 10-5. Tackled inside the five at about the four-yard line. Picks up another first down for the Warriors. That down saving tackle by Ma Taylor. Really good open field tackle by Ma Taylor. Big hole on the right side for the Warriors. They're playing a first and goal with 345 to go in the opening period. Scores contest is the opening drive of the game. Warriors are setting up. I have a little confusion in the back. There's a bunch of left formation. Moran gives a snap look at the winner. Room. Inside, pops it to the outside. He's inside the five. He's going to be tackled for pretty much no gain on the play. Nice job of the line defense stringing that play out. Going to throw the Reese on the tackle. And the right just relentless off at that time, not taking no for an answer. Case and Oman checking in the game for the Lions. He was our power player of the game last time, Golden Medal played. He's replacing Drake Terrebonne. Well, he's playing a second goal inside the line five of the four. Marai back in the gun. Receiver spit out wide to the right. Marai gets a snap. Looking for running into the middle. Cuts up the field. He's going to look into the end zone for the Warrior touchdown. Nice drive by the, uh, nice drive by the Warriors to open this contest. Warriors will line up going for two. Big play here for Golden Meadow. That's Proko. My bad, Proko, the quarterback, gets to the outside, turns on the inside. He's going to run a line over to get in the end zone for the two point conversion. That was Proko with the last play at quarterback. Five and eight kind of collect these numbers. Regardless, they get into the end zone. Two point conversion is good. So 221 left to go this opening period. It's the Warriors of Tibbetto Middle School 8, Golden Matter Middle School 0. We'll be back in one minute to listen to the Middle School football on KLED. Golden Middle School Cafeteria staff. Now we're in the school. Okay. At least Tibbetto running the play clock down. Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 most of the chairs. Yeah. 
And once again, our VIP, PBIS winner is Blaze Dura. He's sitting on the chair, having trap side seats. You can't even take a minute break. Please be with us to put your lion butt in the drawing box in the cafeteria. to have a chance for VIP seating for new friends and free concession. That homemade chili is pretty good. Set to kick off for the Warriors. Little squib kick, which should be fell on by the Lions. Number three is Jacques Billiot falls on the ball for the Lions, giving them great field position. Yes, indeed. For their first drive of the game, they're going to have the ball at the Royal 40 yard line. 43rd yard line. Warriors did not want to kick the ball deep. Well, see if Golden Meadow could make that hurt. Johnny Lee, quarterback for the Lions. They're gonna fell a in the backfield with him. Got a wing to the right. Receiver split out wide left. Wings in motion, balls to fell east of the middle. Good yardage of the front. Still on his feet, picks up a good 10 yards for the first down for the Lions. Wow. Nice opening run from Gunnar from Felonese. The only other time we saw Thibodeau this season was against LCO, and they were so proficient at stopping the run. Golden Medal there just says, you know what, we're punching you in the mouth, getting 10 yards on first down. And it is a first down. So Lions pick up, pick up a first down and first down. Good run. Crossing midfield, the in warrior territory at the 46 yard line. Wing right, that's Arujo. He's in motion. Balls him to get a fellow east again, right up the middle. Pound for yardage. Pick up about four on the play. So nice job by fellow east again, up the middle for the Lions. They actually give him three on the play. Second and seven for the Lions. Obvious right here, Lions are coming right at the Warriors. On the ground and pound, Lions break the huddle. Felice and Dewe in the backfield for the Lions. Receiver to the right side of the field. Man in motion, ball's gonna be given to Felice again up the middle. This time, no gain. Actually may lose a yard on the play. We'll bring up a third down and eight for the Lions. It was Caden Noel on the stop there, just plugged up the middle. And Mark Taylor checks in the game for the Lions on a big third down play. Maybe the officials are telling that the fellow he has to go take a little breather, maybe it was a little woozy. Charlie Darnall checks in the game and the Lions. This is going to be the end of the first quarter, B. So that'll bring us to the end of the first quarter. Your score to the Warriors 8, Golden Meadows 0. Let's go ahead and take a one-minute break. We'll be back. You're listening to Middle School Football on Kate Valley Beach. Golden Meadows 0. Great news, home of businesses. We're here. We are Rev, a telecommunications provider with powerful solutions and unmatched local support. We've been bringing Louisiana people, businesses, and culture together for 85 years. Our fiber network delivers superior internet, phone, and security. It's big business technology with small business personal service. For a limited time, get up to $300 off business services. Call or visit us today at letsrev.biz. Lions and the Thibodeau Warriors. Golden Meadow facing a third and eight at the Warrior 44 yard line. Yep. Two points to get a yard right here. Receiver out to the near side of the field. Lee gets a snap, will give to Dewey. Dewey's trying to get to the outside. No room to run. Great job by number three, Robert Robert. Some quickness and speed filling that alley coming up and stopping the lines for a one-yard loss. And yeah, look, I'm over here saying two plays to get eight yards. Looks like Golden Meadows can actually play a little field position and punt the football here, but we've got an injured player. 
Is that our ball carrier? It may be. Yeah, boy, uh, Tolbert laid the one. Yeah, he took a hit. That looks to be Tristan Duway. Yes. That's injury time now, brought to you by Tibetan Region. We certainly hope he's okay. I think his bread just yeah, got dropped. Yeah, I think he got the win knocked out. Yeah, took, the, took a helmet to the chest there. Lions playing a fourth and nine from the Warrior 45 yard line. Looks like Coach Brunet will elect to punt. One thing to pay attention to, uh, one of your most athletic and explosive players is your punter. They faked the punt last week and actually almost converted it. Clock is running. Lions on the sideline getting their instructions. They're going to have to hurry. Yes, there's Taylor in it again for punt. So Lions in front formation. Yeah, they better hurry. They're down to 10, and they're still just kind of moseying around. This is going to be a delayed game, boss. Line set to punt. They need to hurry, get the snap off. Looks like they will. Long time before the snap. There's the snap. Taylor punched the ball. Good kick. Ah, oh, punch straight down the middle. Fielded at the 18 yard line by Tobin. He looks to get on the inside. Breaks a tackle. Crosses the 35 yard line for the Warriors. See where they can spot the ball. He's around the 35 yard line. Decent field position for the Warriors. Tell you what, pretty good uh, middle school play there from our guy Taylor. He uh, had some good hang time on. He got it pretty far down the field. Lefty. Ball just placed right at the 35 yard line. Thibodeau Warriors for a second drive of the, of the game. They lead an 8 to 0. Clock has started for some reason. Mm. Not sure why. <laughs> Moran in the gun. Four receivers to the wide side of the field. Perko confused in the alignment. He will get set. Baker on the wing. Moran in the gun. Baker in motion. Ball's going to be given to Baker in the backfield. Looking for room. Breaks a tackle to 35. He's going to be a five-yard gain. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. By number 25. Yep, good tackle. That's Shannon right. Chasson. They'll spot the ball at the 41-yard line. It brings up a second and four. For the Warriors. Warriors walk to the huddle, to the line of scrimmage. Three receivers to the far side of the field. They're going to put it in the air at some point. I don't know if it's coming here, but at some point they're going to put it in the air. Oh, and again, gets a snap. Miss handoff. He's going to run the ball. He gets back to the line of scrimmage. He's at the 45, breaks a tackle across midfield in Lion territory, about the 47 yard line. Went like a miss handoff in the backfield, and Morrell did a good job of just taking the ball and running. Gained positive yards, picking up a first down for the Warriors. Clock to stop for a moment at 4.45. Three receivers again to the left side of the field. Morrell in the gun. Perkle's there with him. Morrell gets the snap, will get the Perkle on the inside. Trying to get to the outside, Lions do a good job. Nice job. But after about a four-yard gain, the play looked like it could have gone for more, but Lions did a good job of coming up and stopping the Warriors. They're almost doing a good job of mixing and matching. They're keeping their defensive line fresh. They're kind of alternating uh, tailbone and arm on a little bit. Keeping them fresh up front. Second and six for the Warriors. 419 to go in the second period. Warriors are up 8-0. Do you know what October means, Coach Collin? A few things. Uh, not that it would matter in a middle school game, but no more heat and humidity breaks in the high school. There we go. Two receivers to the far side of the field. Moran the gun. One back with him. Ball snap. Giving the poke on the inside run. 
trying to get to the outside. Nice job by Bayard. Breaks a tackle, Parker. He's at the 35. Breaks a tackle. Gets to about the 32 yard line. Bayard had Parker for a short game. He broke the tackle. Ended up picking the first down. Picking up the first down for the Warriors. Warriors playing a first and 10 at the line, 31 yard line. Clock running, 3.30 to go in this opening half of play. Marai going to the sideline. Looks like he's limping a little bit. Yeah, he is injured and in, in the will call his second timeout. Warriors will have to call a timeout. We'll keep it right here. With our score, the Tibble Warriors eight, Golden Medal Lions zero. I um, I've known Joe Riley a long time, and just looking at his body language and looking the way he is laying into his sideline right now, he's a little annoyed. He's uh, I don't think he's happy with the speed that his team has played. They're just kind of slow, and yeah, they're gaining some yards, but everything is kind of slow motion. I don't think he's, he's too thrilled with the way this team's playing right now. Well, sometimes it's hard when you get to uh, to the stadium where you're playing a little bit late. It's kind of hard to, to warm up the right way. You, you try to rush through everything to try and Look, start the game on time. Let's be honest. Those kids know they're heavily favored to win this game as well. Yeah. Uh, he was a long time saying you were practice. You were playing like you were practice. Yep. In other words, you didn't give it a hundred percent. Yeah. You can see he's 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 not happy right now. First and ten for the Warriors at the line, thirty-one yard line. Warriors set. Twins. Formations, ace formation with Moreau in the gun. Man in motion, begin the Baker on the inside hand. That turns up, fans at the 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Warriors. Great hole on the left side for the Tibetan Warriors. And a nice run by Baker, giving the Warriors a 14 0 lead. Yeah, that might make Coach Riley a little happy. They had a big old hole, explosive play. Get into the end zone, take a two-score lead. Three minutes exactly to go in the second period. Warriors going for a two-point conversion. Perkle in the gun. Here's the snap. He'll get a quarterback run right up the middle. Lions are there to stop him. Can he keep him out of the end zone? as a push. Exactly. Parker does a good job keeping his feet moving and getting in the end zone for the two-point conversion. That brings our score to 16-0 to zero in favor of the Thibodeau Warriors. Okay, so let's keep it here. Trip. what you're seeing down there? Uh, not enough for a push from the uh, defense. Uh, they, they, they're getting pushed around by the offensive line, opening up those holes, and the, the, the backs are running fast through the holes. In case you mentioned that Coach Rodgers was a little upset, and you just mentioned he must be uh, a little bit happier right now. Yeah, probably in a little bit of a better mood. But hey, man, look, he, he's realizing, hey, um, we're playing today as a big favorite, yeah, but we want to also keep getting better for the rest of the season. And just kind of going half speed like they had way earlier in the game is not going to cut it when you're facing E.D. White later on in the year. I was going to ask, who are they facing next week? Yeah, I could tell you that in just a second, sir. Make sure you stay tuned for after the game where we're going to name the power play of the game brought to you by Industrial Power Systems. While you're set to kick off. Moreau is set to kick for the Warriors. Taylor back deep for the Lions. Along with Arujo. Follows kick, high, short kick. Flying in the play, we'll have an offside call on the Warriors. Tried a little pooch kick, but that went a little high and only 10 yards. So we have a penalty marked off against the Warriors for offsides. 
So to answer Truck's question, next week Thibodeau takes on 6-1, to one, which is another game that they'll be pretty heavily favored to win. But how about this? They wrap up the season final two games against Raceland and then in the finale against E.D. White. We might have the final two undefeated teams playing in the last game of the year for the Paris Championship. Um, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, guys. Uh, if we're free, if you understand what I'm saying. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for looking ahead and, and yeah. not looking at this game. Yep. Well, we'll be glad to be there if any Timber business out there truck is listening. <laughs> give us a call. And we'll be happy to put this game on air for you guys. All right, set to kick off. Ball's kicked deep. Taylor's going to get the ball by his 34 yard lines at the 40, 45. Mm -hmm. Trying to get to midfield. He will not reach midfield, but he'll pick up a good return for the Lions, giving him great field position with 2.32 to go in the second period. Lions trailing 16 to 0. You know, you got a chance to get two possessions in a row here. You'd really like to go and punch this in before half. Obviously, easier said than done against the Thibodeau defense, but you defer possession to the second half for this reason. Got to try to take advantage. Well, the Meadow will start this drive at their own 46 yard line. Clock runs. I'm not sure why this clock is yeah, running. They've been doing that all game before the first down plays. Not sure why. Johnny Lee under center. Arujo Wayne to the left. Ball snap, but give him a fellow Reese. Trying to get to the line of scrimmage, he does, and maybe picks up one yard on the play. <coughs> that was the right cap was calling timeout, trying to stop the clock before the, uh, the ball was snapped. So he realized he should not have been running. Yeah. Second and nine. Boy, didn't we just get deja vu right there? But boy, it looked like Felarice was going to have a nice little gain off right tackle. But much like we saw with Lutcher on Friday, these guys just closed those gaps so quick. Yeah, boys are very quick. Really out wide left for the Lions. Blue under center. Trying to get situated. Felarice in the back. Lee gets a snap, gives to Feller. He's trying to get to the line of scrimmage, and that's all he's going to get on that play. Warriors doing a great job up front. Actually, it gives him a yard on the play. It brings up a third and eight. See, I could almost assure you that if Coach Riley had all three of his timeouts, he'd be using them right here to force a punt. Remember, they burned two of them, so now they're kind of just at the mercy of the clock right here. Maybe after this third down play, they might use their last timeout. Yeah, we're under a minute to go. Second quarter, Lions facing a third and eight. Just shy of midfield, Lions are in no hurry. Lee under center, two back set for the Lions. One receiver wide right, man in motion. Ball be bootlegged by Lee to the left side. as a man opening. Teddy Aaron catches the ball to the 40 to 30. Tackle at the 25 yard line. Nice throw and catch. That's number 28. Tyron Allen on the reception for the Lions. And we have a timeout call with 20 seconds to go. Nice job by Lee, running out to his left, found a wide open out and good catch, and good run after the catch, giving the Lions a first and 10 at the one with 25 yard line. Well, you just know that Coach Bruni is kicking himself now because the Lions are kind of playing it slow. Hey, you know, if we, you know, let, let's get it to half, and then they go back a long pass play yeah. deep into uh, Warrior territory. Still got two timeouts left, though. Ryan's got 25 yards to go to get this ball in the end zone, and if they can, they get the opening kickoff to start the second half. And Mr. Mel just said that they don't want to bring any of the chili home. Well, if there's any left over, like, you know, I live in cutoff. Wow. <laughs> we here right now. <laughs> you bring the food at Rutcher. You bring right. the food over here. Absolutely. When everyone's wins homemade chili locked, I will beg for food every time. Man. You know the one thing we have here that we did not have at Rutcher? 
it's 30 <laughs> steps to get the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mercy. Truck, the things we have to go through. That's right. <laughs> you know, I will uh, see you pull a seven-day hitch for Dan Hawks at Red Hot Shipyard. I'm sure. Yeah. Ain't gonna happen, brother. <laughs> Lions, you want to see this to the short side of the field. The clock... Yeah. Yep. 20 seconds left. I'm not sure. What are we doing? Yeah. We're probably having a, a rookie clock operator learning how to put some time in and middle school football that he should have not started. Three receivers, short side to field. Lee in the center. Fellow Reese in the back. Taylor in motion. Balls are given to Taylor on the outside. Trying to get to the outside. And lose. About six yards on the play, 15 seconds in counting. Lions have two timeouts. Looks like they're just going to let this clock run out. To end the half, they're going to spot the ball by the 32. Timeout. Timeout. Time out. With one second to go. Yeah, one second. Oh, they're going to put two. They'll put two seconds on the clock. Lions call a timeout. They got 32 yards to go with two seconds. So Lions got to be careful here. A lot of times, Casey, you try some type of long pass play, whatever. And you got you to be careful for a pick six. And I was thinking that. I didn't want to say it out loud, but I was um, thinking the same thing. Is that, boy, you know, if you put that thing in the air and somebody in gold catches it, you better bring them to the ground. Or else this end of the half scenario could, uh, could go awry very quickly. So we got the clock reset to two seconds to go in the second period. The Warriors, Tibble Middle School, leading... The Lions of Golden Meadow Middle School, 16 to 0. This is where I'm curious. Do you have any type of trick play, any type of double pass, or anything uh, that you haven't shown? Trick play here will be hard to accomplish because the Warriors are just going to put everybody back. Yep. No reason to keep people up here. I'm a little surprised they're not further back than what they are. Deepest safeties at the 15 yard line. Lions come to the line of scrimmage. Receivers spread out wide. Oh, we have a mm. procedure call on the receiver. Yeah, Charlie Dardar took off down the field. So that'll back the lines up five. Don't think it'll change the play call at all. Uh, yeah, I was getting ahead of the same. Say, <laughs> 32 or 37 yards, the play call will pretty much stay the same. Never know. Crazy things have happened. Let's see. Lions break the huddle. Same formation, twins to each side. Lee in the gun, gets a snap, that's not Lee, that's number three, that is Billy Ott, looks to run, can tug the ball, 35, he'll be tackled, oh. on the ball, that's Kyle, it won't be yeah. tired, but he'll be tackled at about the 32 yard line, which will end the half, brings us to halftime with the score, the Thibodeau Warriors 16, Golden Metal Lions 0, we'll be back in three minutes, We'll take a three-minute break and we'll be back. You listen to Middle School Football on KLED. This baby will get your heart racing as much as your slick new devices do. Switch to Rev. No contracts, no data caps, no nonsense. It's the high-speed internet you need. Build your plan at Let'sRev.com. Let's Rev. Internet speed so fast, you're going to need seatbelts for your sofa. Switch to Rev. No contracts, no data caps, no nonsense. It's the high-speed internet you need. Build your plan at letsrev.com. Let's rev. Look off return right here. Watch to your right, truck. There's a scary individual. 
<laughs> Maroon is set to kick off. Look, we got about 30 seconds before we're playing. I want to thank all of the principals in the state of Louisiana for doing the right thing. We voted today to um, amend the definition of select schools. Those who are wondering and who are curious, our playoff formula for football will be the exact same as last year. Um, I think that was the only decision. So kudos to the principal, 68% uh, voted yes today. Job well done. Mariah is set to kick off to start this second half. Got one more note about that after this play. Mariah kicks the ball. It's going to be fielded by Taylor. He throws the ball to the third. He's oh, no. the bounces right into a warrior home. He'll go in for a touchdown, but you cannot return the muff. So the ball is going to be brought back to where he recovered the football. Warriors. I was only on a punt. I'm a little surprised that we're not able to score a touchdown there. I know you can't return a muff on a punt, but unless if he caught a fair catch on the kickoff, I think that should have just been a live ball on a fumble, right? I think so because an onside kick. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying, yeah. A little surprised there. But either way, Thibodeau will take over possession. Warriors will start. Great field position at the line 46 yard line. Warriors in a trip formation to the short side of the field. Maroy in the gun. Gives a snap, gives it to Perk on the inside. He's at the 30, 25. Breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle. He's at the 20. Shifts on the inside, breaks another tackle, trying to get inside the 10. Will be tackled about the 11 yard line. Nice shifty moves by Parker on the run for the Warriors. Well, true story. Um, as soon as I leave here tonight, I'm going to Walmart and I'm buying the latest edition of Madden. That looked like a video game run. Juking left and right and getting up and thin down the field. Very shifty run from Parker there. Warriors playing a first and 10. <laughs> Roy in the gun. Gets a snap. Baker in motion inside half left to Baker. Turns on the inside. Crosses over. He's inside the 10 for a short gain. In the about three on the play. It was Gunnar Fellerese, one of two Lions on the stop. Warriors playing a second, about seven, from the eight yard line. Six forty five and counting in this third period. Warriors up sixteen to zero, looking to add more. This uh, verify you cannot advance enough kickoff. <coughs> okay. There we go. Right on the center, single back guy in motion. Looks like to be Baker. Hands the ball off to Baker. He's going to be close to the five yard line, tackling about the six. Third down, and five for the Warriors. Clock running, six minutes to go. Jason Baca made the stop for Golden Medal. He's a good looking football player. Be big if the Lions can get a stop here. Warriors at the six yard line. Can pick up a first at about the one. Warriors might need a timeout, real confusion. Anderson split out wide left for the Warriors. <coughs> Maroy is under center. Single by guy in motion is going to be given to the guy in the motion. Cuts on the outside, turns on the inside for a touchdown. That's number three, Tobert. For the Warriors, gets in the end zone on a nice inside run by the Warriors. Increasing their lead. Two-point conversion coming up. Tobert's a good-looking football player, man. He plays hard on both sides of the ball for the Warriors. Warriors set for a two-point conversion. 
They're up 22 to zero. Snap goes to Perkle, tries to get to the outside. Can he get to the corner? He does. Gets around the edge for a two-point conversion, which brings our score. Table of Warriors 24, Golden Medal Lion 0. We'll take a one-minute break. We'll be back in one minute. You're listening to Middle School Football on KLEB. And welcome back. Warriors set to kick off. They're up 24 to 0. Taylor back deep for the Lions. Along with Arujo. Ball is kicked. Takes a bounce. We'll have an offside once again mm -hmm. from the Warriors. You have to stop doing that, man. You, you, uh, you're putting your special teams in a bad spot. I, I get it down or, or up 24 to nothing. It's not a big deal, but later, later in the season, it could potentially be a big deal. And it's Taylor and Dewey back for the Lions. If you're Taylor, your first focus got to be, man, just bring the football in. That was going to be pushed back five yards, so Moore will be kicking off from the 35. Very quickly before the kickoff, I remember I said I had some thoughts I wanted to add about the LHSA vote. Kudos to the state principals for showing up. There are only 22, I believe, schools that did not show up today. So overwhelming good attendance, and to the 20-plus who didn't show up, shame on you. Arroyo approaches, kicks the ball, nice kick right over the middle. Taylor will get it about his 27-yard line, crosses it to 30, looking to get to the outside. Can he get to the outside? He does, but it'll be run out of bounds. And we'll have a lady hit, tackled out of bounds. Yep. He ran out of bounds around the 41 or so. And he was hit late, out of bounds, so tackle on 15. Good field position just got a lot better for the Lions. They're going to be starting inside Warrior territory. So it's a personal foul late here on the Warriors. That'll put the ball across midfield. For the Lions. Officials marking off the penalty. <laughs> Getting instructions on where to spot the ball. Yep, he'll move it further. He'll spot the ball at the Warrior 42 yard line. Lions playing a first and 10. 518 to go in the third period. They're trailing 24 to 0. Johnny Lee, quarterback for the Lions. He's in the center. Two back set with a wing to the right. Two receivers out. Lee gets a snap, gives the ball to number two on the right side. Five for yards. He'll gain about maybe two yards. It's Charlie Dardar on the carry for the Lions. Picks up about two. Tim, the one thing that is noticeable to me about Thibodeau Middle School, they hit harder than the other teams in the parish. Dumouris Bryant just laid the wood. Helmet to the chest. They hit and wrap. Yep. Good fundamental football. Lions come to the line of scrimmage. Three back set. He gets a snap. We'll give the fellow loose on the left side. Not much running room. Maybe picks up a yard or two on the play. We'll bring up a third down for the Lions. It's 42 that time. Caden Noel on the tackle. Ball spotted right at the 40 yard line of the Warriors. Third and eight. For the Lions, 420 and counting in this third period. And Coach Bruno, you know what I'm doing right here? I'm putting the ball in the air again. You did it once, you had success. Two back set behind Lee. Dewey on the wing. He's in motion, snap, rolls to his right, Lee rolls to the finds a man, caught, but a baby cut away in yellow, nice catch in traffic. That's 28 again. Jaron Allen on a nice catch in traffic. Gives the Lions a first down, so Casey right on. Because Coach Green passing the football. Yep, good play call, I like that. 
Let me remind you, uh, Coach Brunet called it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a headset. I don't have that kind of a headset. Brown is either. throwing a first and ten at the 31-yard line. Three back set. Lee gets the ball. He drops back. He to his left. Under traffic. Breaks one tackle, but he will not escape the second tackle for a loss of about four on the play. Brings up a second and 14 for the Lions. Lee was on that boot leg and running out to his left, had run at first, but then quickly, quickly collapsed. Yeah, those gaps close um, in the nanosecond against these guys. Ball spotted by the 35-yard line of the Warriors. Second 14 for the Lions. Lee in the gun. Gets the snap, drops back, looks to run the ball on the right side. He's going to throw it to his right over the head of the receiver. Brings up a third down. For the Lions, 30 and 14. For the Lions on the incomplete pass, the clock has stopped with 2.33 to go in the third period. Lions looking to get some type of offensive drive together here in this third period. But come with a hard count right here. We wouldn't expect it on third and 15. You can maybe steal five free yards, make it a little easier. Lions to the line of scrimmage. Split back set. Dewey on the wing. He's in motion. Lee rolls to his right, looking for room, being chased, and throw the ball away. Out of bounds. Incomplete, which will bring up a third down play for the Lions in 14. Lee's trying to get away from the rush of the Warriors. Warriors are just a little too quick for him to just throw that ball away. Mellow circle in the game for Fellowes. Three receivers to the wide side. One back set, that's Dardar. Lee under center. Gets the snap, will roll to his right. Look out from the back side, he gets hit from the back side. Officials, well, Carlos looks like a fumble. Are they going to, no, it's incomplete. incomplete. Incomplete pass, they can spot the ball back at the line of scrimmage. And that was our guy Perkle on the, it looked like maybe a cornerback blitz, just came in unblocked and leveled Johnny Lee. Now you roll into your right, you cannot forget about the backside, that's where he came from the backside. And Warriors will take over at their own 35 yard line. Leading this game 24 to 0 with 2.22 to go in the third period. I don't think their starting defense has allowed anything all year. I think they've only given up six points total, and I think that was the reserve. So, a little stout. What are your defense? Morrell in the gun. One back. He has a snap. He'll drop back, look to throw to his left, has a receiver on the left side of the field, jump ball situation, falls incomplete. Ball is intended for Anderson. I got the ID of their center. I think it's number 64, which would be Benson Grow. Uh, we see a lot of high school teams do the shotgun that are not getting their snaps as cleanly as Thibodeau Middle is right now. Their center's doing an excellent job. Yeah, look, and that's a great point because you're right. And people are not talking about the snap. Yeah. Well, which means it's perfect. Yeah, as a compliment. And it is number 64, Benson Grow. And we're in the gun. The receivers to the far side of the field. Perkle in the back. All right, boys, give him a Perkle. He's at a 35, 40, gets to the outside, 45, midfield, 40, 35, 30, 25, and tackled at the 20 yard line by Taylor for the Lions, preventing a touchdown from Perko. So a long run by the Warriors gives them a first and 10 at the 20 yard line, inside the 20, and spotted with 19 of the Lions. 
Touchdown saving tackle by Taylor, but a great run by the Warriors. Two minutes and counting. This game has slowed dramatically yeah. here in the third period. I'm glad you said that. I thought it was just me. <laughs> yeah, this third quarter has taken it a long time. Warriors playing a first and ten inside the 20 of the Lions at a 19. Receiver split out wide inside, twin set. Moreau in the gun. To trips right formation. Moreau gets the snap, gonna hand on the inside to Anderson, trying to get to the outside. He does it, 20, 15, 10, makes a tackle, five, makes a man move to the goal line and in. That's number three, Tobert on the carry. For the Warriors. It's coming back. It's probably not going to stand. Um, Block in the back on the Warriors. So boy, what a shoot move at the end of that one by Tolbert. Thought it was Anderson coming in motion, but it was Tolbert, number three. Had some very shifty moves. Got in the end zone, but it's coming back. It's not a bad uh, recipe. When in doubt, give it to Tolbert. He's uh, he's pretty damn good. It's about the ball of the line, 21 yard line. One fourteen to go in the third period. The old run of the middle, first and twelve. The clock starts. Bench formation to the left for the Warriors. That's Perkle. Gives a direct snap, tries to get to the outside. He won that good tackle. That number 11, Rich Rodrigue. Yeah, unfortunately, the tackler injured himself. Got kind of kicked in the shoulder as the bell carry was going by. And a flag on the play. And then we block on the Warriors, so that'll push the Warriors back. They're kind of going in reverse. With 55 seconds to go in this third period, Rodrigue is back up on his feet after making a good tackle for the Lions. Looks like he's holding his wrist or arm area. Hopefully it's just a stinger. Tough young man walking off that field. You can see he's in some pain. In case I just, my point I made a few weeks ago, maybe get some people upset, but we should have trainers here. I agree. I agree. We've got limited staff at some of these middle schools, and we're well, almost playing a first and long situation at the line, 36 yard line. Clock moving, 45 seconds in the third period. They have a guy, this might be a trick play, they have a guy about a receiver flanked well. Oh, bad wow. snap over the head. Who's going, who's going to get it? Well, he's falling on it right at midfield. It's Malone, falls on the ball right at midfield. I, I bet you I know what that play was. I think the quarterback was going to throw a backwards pass to the receiver. There's not a receiver about five yards behind the quarterback. And then the quarterback was going to go out for a pass and was going to try to... We'll never know because I think we're going to know right here. It's 10 seconds. They don't have to run a play. They may say that to start, but it's the same formation, though. Ball is snap. Giving a poke on inside lane. Breaks to the outside. Crosses midfield. He's at the 45. Trying to get to the outside. Breaks a tackle. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. 25, 20. Can someone catch him? 15, 10. Race to the corner. Makes a move. Goes back to the inside. Wow. Falls forward into the end zone. For a very touchdown. Look, you're going to see a lot of uh, big explosive plays at a lot of different levels. That was one hell of a run. Braden Perkle with an outstanding run. And it's coming back again. And another <laughs> flag. I still don't see the flag on the field. 
No, it's, it's, it's okay. I have to do it. Sports my mind. So the touchdown will come. Looks like the touchdown is coming back. That was the last play of the third quarter, so a dead ball foul on the rails, unsportsmanlike conduct. So I think the Lions will take the penalty on the two point conversion. <laughs> yes, it looks like they're marking off the penalty on the conversion. It is now 30 to nothing. So a long two-point conversion coming up. <coughs> Federal Warriors, we thank our sponsors, the Bless Your Heart Foundation, the Ronnie Johns, Blue Boot Foundation, Bless Your Power Systems, and Dennis. Thank you very much for sponsoring middle school football. Warriors, spread out wide. Snap in the wall, he's gonna get out. Oh. Tries to line the ball behind. The line of scrimmage ball goes out of bounds. And that will bring us to the end of the third quarter, which will score Thibodeau Middle School 30, Golden Meadow Middle School 0. We're going to go ahead and take a one-night break. We'll be back in one minute. You listen to Middle School Football right here on KLED. The last weekend of August in, in 2021, Paris was hit by Hurricane Ida. Uh, we lost all communications in this parish. Rev Business came in and boosted us up with a fiber line that gave us connectivity back to our radios and to our telephones. When we were back up and running, it was like a life-saving breath. Our connectivity to our law enforcement agencies are all fiber now. I think if you're looking for a really good provider, uh, Rev is without a doubt the, uh, the company to go with. Deep for the Lions, along with should be Tristan Dewey. Approaches the ball, it's kicked. Nice kick. Taylor will get the ball and drop it about his 22. Picks it up. Across the 25 to the 30. Trying to get to the outside. He does. He's at the 45. Plants his foot, gets up the field to about the 30. Tackled at about the 40 yard line. Well, before my MLB news, uh, some bad news is that I see the hospital cart is coming to get Ray Surgery, number 11, who hurt his arm a minute ago. Yeah, I think it may be some type of shoulder injury. Yeah, so that's never good to see. Uh, they're trying to tend to him now. And then my MLB news is that, remember, we said the Brewers were up 3 nothing a minute ago. It's now 3-3. Three to three. The Diamondbacks have tied that one. <clears throat> Lions first and 10 at their own 40-yard line. We'll have to punch one in here to get a little score. Linda arm injury. Yeah, he's in some pain still. Lee under center, two back, man in motion, that's the way. Given the inside run to Fellery, so he'll pick up about two on the play. Is Caleb Matthews on the stop. Brings up a second and eight for the Lions. 7.36 to go in this contest. All Warriors, 30 to zero over the Lions. Two receiver set, Lee under center. Man in motion, that's Dewey. Give it Dewey, trying to get to the outside. Can he get back to the line of scrimmage? He does. And that's about it. Maybe give him a yard on the play. Trying to get these outside runs, they're giving up ground. And as they're giving up ground to try and get to the outside, the Warriors are just coming, closing in. Maybe give Dewey a yard on the play. They're giving a round of applause to our guy, Ray Rodriguez. They're wheeling him off, and man, he, uh, poor guy, he looks to be in some pain. Maybe it looks like maybe like an elbow or a forearm injury. That truck's in yeah. a forearm. I thought he was giving a steal sign. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's the steal. Lions facing a third and seven. 6.25 and counting. Two backs behind Lee. Lee gets a snap, go to his right, sprint out, looks to find a man over the middle, that's Taylor. 
A little bit too high for Taylor. Falls incomplete. Brings up a fourth down for the Lions. No go for it. Here down 30 to 0. Johnny Lee showing he's got an arm. Oh, yeah, man. Put some zip in that ball. Just sit it a little bit high. Knowing Johnny Lee since he's a baby. He's been tough as nails since he was in the crib. Lions come up to the line of scrimmage. Actually, have a new quarterback this play. It's going to actually be Jacques Billiard this play. Billiard in the gun. Receiver spread out wide. Billiard gets the ball, throws down the middle for Taylor. Good coverage by the Warriors. Pass is incomplete. Guess who? Number three, Tolbert. That's Tolbert. <laughs> On the coverage for the Warriors. Lions will turn the ball over on downs. Got a whole new group of Lions coming into the game. Warriors will keep their win streak alive. Heading into water, but this is the midway point right here. This so is the first game. Timeout. Warriors on the field. Yeah, I think Riley's going to get some of his reserves in. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it here. Not sure how much uh, time they're going to give for this timeout, but. Casey, it, it took, uh, you mentioned a little bit about the vote today. Mm -hmm. uh, so that just, every, everybody, you know, yes or no vote would happen, but the bottom line is the playoffs will be the same as last year. Yes. Um, and I, look, I'm going I'm to relate this from the perspective of South Lafourche High School because that's where the majority of our listeners probably are today. South Lafourche's Division I non-select. There were two options. A yes vote meant that 28 teams made the playoffs out of like 37 or 38 teams total. A no vote meant that 28 teams made the playoffs out of like 60 plus total, which obviously is not ideal, right? Uh, so the yeses win, the open enrollment schools remain select schools, the court case gets thrown out, and we have the same playoff format as we had last year. And I'm sure we'll talk about that on play by play tomorrow. I've got some uh, opinions on that. But uh, Warriors playing a first and ten. Moreau under center. Hands off to number 20. He's at the 40-yard line. 30. Crosses the 30 to about the 25-yard line. It looks to be number 20, Jamal. Oh, Casey, you better help me out on this one. Or is it 23? Uh, say 23, you're supposed to be an easier name. Yeah, I look like 23. Johnson. Yeah, yeah all kidding aside, yeah. that's 23. Yeah, it's 23. Ronald Johnson on the carry. Oh, it's kind of windy, huh? It's kind of nice to we have a new quarterback, number 10, Lefton. For the Warriors, he's under center. Drives the ball on the snap. He falls right back on it. So they'll be playing a second and 10. 5.35 to go and count him. To go and win this contest. Look, a lot of respect to Coach Joe Riley. It could have been very easy to be greedy and leave your starters in. And, uh, he's letting everybody play here and doing a wonderful job. Good sportsmanship activity. Left in the center. Gets a snap. Hands off. Same guys, the 15, 10. Lions can stop in the end zone. No, it looks like he crossed the goal line for the touchdown. We're trying to get an ID for you. I think it's Johnson. 23. Yeah, it's Johnson. Johnson. Johnson showing some quickness and some speed on that carry to the outside. Saying, Coach, I need some more PT. <laughs> and beat the Lions to the end zone, increasing the wide lead. 36 to nothing. The Warriors lining up for two. Yeah, 
Lofton in the center. Not in motion. Confusion in the backfield. Tanned it off on a late run. Looks like wow. 84. 84 on the carry. Johnson. Johnson. Alfonso Johnson on the carry. Look, a mix up in the backfield, but then Johnson got the ball and went in the end zone for a two point conversion. And nobody told him to be confused. No, he knew. I get the ball, I know which way I got to go, and he ran and got to the end zone for a two point conversion. Brings our score. 38 to 0, favorite of Thibodeau Middle School Warriors. Probably going to be the last possession of the game for the Golden Medal offense. <laughs> Again, join us for play by play on Friday. In case you're looking forward to it, taking the show on the road. Yep. Absolute fitness. They're going to be having some specials. If you sign up on Friday, you're going to get to pick. Out of the bag for those extra incentives where you're going to have a gift card to spend in their gift shop or in their shop, or you enter fee will be waived, or you get a free month or so, I think it is. But stop by Absolute Fitness on Friday and join us for a play by play. Be exciting. The world kicks off. That's number three, gets the ball to 30, to the 40. Looking for a run. Crosses the 45, trying to get to midfield. as Jacques Billy out on the carry on the kickoff return for the Lions. It's close to midfield. Ah, let's see, we got 56. Cad plays on 70. Ryder Ducey, 63. Brian Bozigard, 77. Jesus Asino. 63, I already said that's Boozy Guard, trying to shout out some of the names of the young men in the game now. Uh, Mario Circo will be at quarterback. Number nine, Jacob Davis in the game. Certainly not all of them. We'll try to get as many of them as we can as Golden Medal gets their reserves in. New defensive alignment for the Warriors. See, 13, Maddox Vegas. Hey, that's my real cousin. Jacob Davis put out wide left for the Lions. Also number seven, Lucas Arujo in there. Circle at quarterback. Man in motion. Ball given on the right side to number 13. Crosses midfield. It's Maddox Vegas on the carry. Galen Yards, just like his big cousin up here did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Game yards, you're talking about yards, I was going to say you cut grass, but you got to cut grass. Yards, you got to cut. <laughs> you gotta cut. Didn't do much of that either, my man. Yeah. Circle in the center. Vegas in the backfield. That was given to Vegas. Goes to the right side, picking up positive yards, close to the first down. Tell you what, we're going on the shirt. Tell you what, for a six game, little cousin's uh, reckless out there. He's not afraid of contact. You have to see it. Yeah, he's jumping up and down. He's excited. He's got his lines playing a third and shirt. 42. Kale Vega checks in for the Lions. Three thirty and counting. Oh, fumbled snap. Fumbled snap. I believe there was a new quarterback in for the Lions. Yeah, I think was it was that number nine. It was Davis. Davis. Jacob Davis fumbles a snap. Lions fall on it, but it's a four down. They lose about three on the play. Number nine for the Lions. Jacob. <coughs> and a fourth and three at the Warrior 43 yard line. So see what Coach Boone is doing. Mario Circle is the backup quarterback, number eight, but he is an eighth grader. So why not let you know a younger player get some reps, get some work? Davis gets the play from Coach Boone. <coughs> Oh, 
Jackson Stouts also in the lineup for the Lions. Falls is going to be split wide right. Man in motion. Vegas rolls to his right. Breaks one tackle, throws the ball down field to Man. It's open for the ball, 25. Man inside the 20. That is number 77. He hits a single. And the pass reception and roughing the pass on top of him. Quarterback Jacob Davis. So two minutes to go in this contest. Lions have something cooking here. Trying to get on the scoreboard. They won for a six quarter. That wasn't a bad look right there from Jacob Davis. And to think he got left on top of that. Now look, I have no idea if Hazel Cecenio was lined up at offensive line that I but either way, I'm, I, the only reason I say that, he's wearing number 77, so he's, he's a little fishy. He's at the top end position. Well, there you go. <clears throat> Middle school, you don't have to worry about numbers. Lines will be inside the 10 at the eight yard line. Let's do that. Two minutes in counting. Davis in the center. Gets the snap. Gives the ball to his running back. Trying to fight for yardage. He tackled about the six in the line. It's Charlie Darda on the carry. It's Charlie Darda for the Lions in the carry. We'll spot the ball on the six yard line. Lions put a second and goal with 136 to go. Clock running. Lions trying to get into the end zone. Davis brings his team to the line of scrimmage. Split back. Receiver wide right. He has a snap. We'll give it again on the inside to Dada. No place to go. He's tackled right about the five the yard line. Brings up a third and goal from the five for the Lions with 58 seconds in count to go in this contest. 20 powers, do say junior checking into the game. Third and goal from the five. See if Coach Bruno is going to roll the quarterback out. Jacob Davis at quarterback for the Lions. Big backfield, man in motion. It's going to be tossed, given to number seven, trying to get to the outside cuts. He's at the five, the tackle inside the five at about the three-yard line. Arujo. Arujo on the carry for the Lions. Gets him close with 16 seconds to go. Call a timeout there. In this game, call a timeout there. Give yourself a chance to score one. Call a timeout. Coach Brennan asking his coaches, what should I do? Yeah, and he will not. Ah, oh, come on, Derek. The ball will be at the two-way line, and it'll stay there. That'll be the end of the game. Lions drove at the end, trying to get in, but time ran out on them. That brings us to the end of the game with your final score. The Thibodeau Warriors, 38. Golden Metal Lions, 0. Look, we're going to take a one-minute break. When we get back, we're going to go ahead and give you the power play of the game. You're listening to Middle School Football. I want to thank everyone for coming out to Harper Memorial Stadium. Be careful on the drive home. Drive safely. 